To start off, let's switch to cycles. Experimental. This is very important, otherwise displacement won't work. I recommend GPU for rendering. I'm going to set to 16 samples for preview rendering. Now add a plane. Change the scale to 20 meters. Then add the subdivision modifier. Use sample and adaptive subdivision. Let's create a material. Scroll down. Under settings tab, change from bump only to displacement and bump. Now I'm going to open a new window here and switch to shader editor. Now for lightning, I'm going to add a sky texture. Lower the strength to 0.4. Let's create a noise texture with Shift A, Texture, Noise Texture, and plug into Displacement. Then create a Displacement node. Instead of normal, connect to height. I'm going to set mid level to zero, and now we can see the displacement. We can scale the texture here. Also increase detail to 16. To change the resolution in render preview, go to render properties, under subdivision, we need to lower this value. Now let's create our color ramp. If we move the black color, we can create areas where there is no displacement. With white color, we can change the height. Also, we can create new sliders I'm going to duplicate the noise texture and create a mix RGB plug into second slot with factor we can control how to mix the textures by default is set to 0.5 so it means 50% for each texture right now we don't see any change and that's because we haven't changed the scale I'm going to duplicate the mix RGB and color ramp. Then connect noise texture to color ramp and color ramp to mix RGB. If we move this slider, we can see that there's a more gradual elevation. I recommend playing around with settings until we are happy with the result. Also, you can try using a different texture to see the result. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. So, thanks for watching.